been doing a preparation on the Street Epistemology broadcast, which is going to air, I think, third Tuesday in February. It's exhausting. Anthony Magdabosco and those guys and gals they have the patience of Job. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's a lot of it's interesting, but we're watching video after video. It's like. How do you know your God is real? Well, I just know it in my heart. I just have a personal experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's amazing. So if someone of a different religion was to come in and say that they had a personal experience, you'd accept that as equally valid. No. Well, uh, is there any possibility that you're evaluating your religion with the same rules that they are evaluating theirs? No. Well, maybe. God damn it. Slice clean all the way. No cure for what I'm going to do to you. Peel pristine skin. Thoughts from the minds. What do you fear, little one? Peel away, no tearing. Expose everything. Rovic? <laughs> I'm sorry, there's somebody in this game named Ruvik? Sick bastard names their child Rubik. <laughs> Have you no mercy on the child? Anyway, I've been going through SE videos for the last two hours, just listening for samples. Wow. It is, the level of ignorance is terrifying. Terrifying. These people vote. These people exert influence over the lives of young children. There was one guy in a street epistemology video, and he is uh, talking about how, man, everything has a consciousness. And so Anthony is looking down, he says, see that big-ass rock? He didn't say big-ass, but it's funnier if I say big-ass rock. You see that big-ass rock over there, and it's a huge stone. Yeah, that rock has a consciousness. Yeah, man. Because it has moving parts. Wow. Wow. That's exciting. What the hell's that? Hey, get me out of here. What does one do been being chased by a blood particle man? I'll finish the uh, rock story in just a second. Hang on. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> this is going to this is going to suck. Okay. So, He says, uh, oh my God, I guess I have to move forward or else I'll die. Okay. He says it has uh, molecules that move back and forth. And I guess molecules plus factor X, which he did not fully define. That defines consciousness. Okay. <laughs> this, is, this means it's conscious. Everything is all sort of intertwined together. He's like, uh, okay. So that rock over there is con Yeah, man, that rock's conscious. So, uh, that conversation went on. Oh, I see. I hit the freaking, uh, wires and died horribly. So he's like, oh, well, can we just look at the, uh, can, can we just look at the rock and then sense its consciousness? And he says, man, I'm probably not looking at it. He said, but if I was to go like, like sit on it, I could sense its consciousness. Now I'm, I'm all in. I'm totally intrigued. 
So, so he sits on the rock. And so Anthony's like, and Anthony's got the, he's got so much patience and goodwill. He's like, okay. So how? Uh. Sorry, I have a hard time walking and chewing gum at the same time. He said, so how long do you think you... Uh, well, I don't know, man. I don't know how long it'd take me to be able to sense the consciousness. Oh, I stood up. Sorry. So, <laughs> and I think, I, I don't know that I would have had... To, I would have just lost my mind. Like, you got to be shitting me. And, and that's the challenge with SE. I mean, because it's so effective. I mean, you don't want to... You're trying to get people to examine their their beliefs, right? But the idea that he is what what? I, mean, I would have a hard time hiding that face. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> How? No, that's not the way I want to go. Um. How how do you get there? So anyway, I've been watching those videos. I don't think I can get through there. All right, all right, all right. All right. Oh my God! How am I? How am I supposed to do this? I mean, have you ever had those conversations where you thought, "I can feel the brain cells exploding." I can feel my own will to live leaving my body. This conversation has sucked my will to live. Haven't you ever been there? And Anthony's just so freaking good natured. It's really, it's impressive. He's, he's just one of my favorite people. And you can tell him I said that. Uh, and I've learned a lot from from his example. I used to be a lot more caustic, and uh, you know, I used to agitate situations a lot more, and I was less patient, and uh, I was getting nowhere. I was getting so frustrated. God damn it! What's the way through? I was sitting on the rock trying to examine its consciousness. I mean, how does this work? It's called The Evil Within, Frankie. The Evil Within. It's a slightly older game, but it's... Okay. So then Anthony's like, well, okay, so the uh, qualification for consciousness then is that something has moving molecules. I'm not... I hope I'm not misrepresenting what he said so your your acid test for consciousness is that it moves or has movement and the guy's like well yeah no yeah well kind of it moves but it's also not it's not it's how do i say this Whew. get me out of here there's still spikes over my head? No. Everything that moves has a consciousness. I mean, that's awesome. I look forward to somebody peer reviewing that ass. That ass? I just <laughs> so, that shit. <laughs> somebody peer review that ass for me. Oh, look at the heads. There's more spikes. Are these cages? Holy shiite. Go, baby. Uh, what do I do? Shoot it? Some demise. 
Jeff said, is the rock metaphysically grounded? Like, what color is the rock? Where did the rock come from? Did the rock crawl here from its natural habitat? You know, these are valid questions. Okay, Blood Boy is chasing me. So now I gotta run. How do I undo it? Okay. Rock. <laughs> oh, sometimes I just I fear for the species. It's like talking to Trump supporters. I mean, after a while, you just wonder. You're like, do we deserve to go extinct? We may deserve to go extinct. Um, I need a lock. Run fast. Run f Oh! What the f What is that? What is that? What am I supposed to do with that? There's a freaking... <laughs> That's just stupid. <sighs> All right. Get your weapon. All right, now Blood Boy comes after me. Oh shit, there's a bear trap? What am I supposed to do here? Oh, I see. Oh my god. That wouldn't have happened to me if somebody would have peer-reviewed that ass. I'm just saying. All right, Blood Boy's coming after me, so now I'm just going to keep my cool. Ah, wrong way. He gets to walk through the freaking bars. Okay. Get 
Go, baby. Go, baby. How the fuck? Any ideas, my friends? Don't get poked by the rotating. Like, can the rotating blades take out the, the blood boy? I doubt it. He doesn't look like he's... I mean, I don't know. You think it'll scatter him? Okay. Going here. Going here. Going here. Stay away from the uh, bear trap. Stay away from the bear trap. Stay away from the bear trap. Stay away from the bear trap. Ah! I don't really get it. What is that? Is there a place to hide? Holy shnikes. Pardon me. Yeah, I need some of that. Um, please don't make me do that again. That was high stress. High stress. Ain't nobody got time for that. Wow, it's so beautiful. Children of the corn. Outlander. Why was I led here? <sighs> it's... It's like, um, what dreams may come mixed with Friday the 13th Part 3. Where do those redneck people go? Okay. Reload. Shotgun. Reload. Which weapon do you think? Like, do you have a preference? Used to be a first person shooter called Redneck Rampage. And it was essentially you versus a bunch of hillbillies. All I know is the game made me nauseous as hell. It's always sick when I played it. But there's these uh, really, really country people. And you're on their land, and the whole time you're walking around trying to survive, the grandpa's going, get off my land. Anybody else remember Redneck Rampage? What are the chances there's a mini boss in here, huh? Rich bastards think they can buy up all our land. They need to be shown. Get off my land! Spots. Get off my land! Oh, 
<laughs> oh no. No. Hey, I think there's kids in there. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. Oh. Oh, don't be burning the children. No. Ruben. Ruben. You have to climb. Oh my god. <laughs> Shit. I'd better get out of here. There. <laughs> How the hell am I supposed to get up there? Well, this is where a smart man would find a ladder and get up to the top. Is that a ladder there? Let's take a peek. Can't climb that. Oh, look! A pulley cagey thing. Let us find a gear. A gear that would be so hot from the flames that I would have no skin on the palms of my hand. Um. Okay. What did I just accomplish? wheel thing, do this, go over here, and then there's the barn, and everybody's doing the stuff, and then I come over on this side. What did I just accomplish? What? What? Okay, fine. Fine. I don't... I, I'm trying to get out of this loop here. And it's stuck. Hello. This has to be what I'm supposed to do. But the hold space function is stuck. Something I'm missing. Come on. Yeah. Do I shoot that? Oh, maybe I shoot it. <laughs> yeah, I'm slow, but I can get there. I can get there. Oh! Blood bubbles done got me. What the f How do I get out of here? Is he a boss? Can I shoot him? Oh, and that's nice. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you don't want any of this. You don't want any of this. Um, now where do I go? Oh, 
Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh! Very bad. Very bad. apparently did that to them. Beatrice, please. You must eat. You've got to keep your strength up. My children. I want... Beatrice, we have been through this. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. <sighs> How many chapters are there? Alright, this or around a drawful. Your pick. Round of this or round of drawful? I'll let you decide. <laughs> All right, fine, Rosemary. She's a vote of one, but she is. She has a powerful lobby. Drawful is a game that all you need is your cell phone. A charged cell phone or a semi-charged cell phone. I've only got uh, Rosemary, though. Everybody else wants to continue with the evil within. I'll let you hash it out for a second. Oh, oh, excuse me. Would you like me to proceed? I need my uh, USB gloves. Like my wife bought me these here.
don't laugh. But my hands, my hands get really cold. So she bought me these and they're gloves with the USB port on them. And you just plug them into your computer and then hang on. And then you flip the switch. Oh yeah. That's good. Mock me. Go ahead. I'm comfortable. <sighs> All right, fine. I'll keep going. Sorry, Rosemary. The other challenge is Natalie's going to be home in a few minutes, and I'm going to spend some time with her before. Tonight's bowling night. Do not laugh. But I was invited by uh, my accountant, of all people. He said, look, we need a, a fourth bowler for the team. Ours is moving out of state. And would you come and do the last half of the season? I'm like, okay. So uh, I'm on a bowling team on Wednesday nights, and it's just straight-up redneck fun. I rolled a uh, one fifty-seven, a one seventy-one, and a one ninety-one. So not bad. But some of those guys are serious. They furthered my research. Yeah, yeah. This was not mere research. I love this guy's voice. The things the papers say were done to those people, those traps. These vermin. These microbes? Not his. The other one. They're mine to do with as I please. But you are correct. This was not mere research. I'm close to perfection. This is abhorrent. Abhorrent. This is my... Mansion basement notes. My children have been taken from me. <gasps> was it fate? Was it something he did? Surely not my perfect son. It was that fire, it ruined everything, took everything. The children are not the same. And neither is Ernesto. He said he was taking care of them, that they were safe. But now, he says, they're gone. How could that be? A mother would know such a thing. I still hear my darling boy's voice, his laughter, and always from the basement. It cannot be. A mother needs her children. Will. I have choices here, apparently. Uh, just angry. Just, you've heard of people, like, whenever they get into dire situations, and the adrenaline kicks in, and they have quote-unquote superhuman strength. You've heard of this. We used to say it was uh, divine in nature. Supernaturally given the strength to survive. Of course, now I see it as adrenaline. And not all the stories that we were told really checked out. You know, he lifted it, he, he lifted a car with his bare hands. Well, you know, was it a fiesta? Because that explains a lot. <laughs> yeah, what was it? He lifted like it doesn't sound nearly as impressive. He lifted a Fiesta. He lifted a Volkswagen Rabbit with his bare hands. Yeah, it just doesn't sound nearly as impressive. Okay, see so that booby trap right there? This is where a smart player would be able to get past it without blowing himself to smithers. Are these weapons? What are those things? Scary. Just pure adrenaline. I mean, 
I'm a badass. There really is little doubt. You can really tell by the way I'm dressed. Okay, that looks like a recipe for disaster. Do you think I'm gonna have to pull an Indiana Jones and run out of here at high speed and that sucker's gonna get me? That's what I think. Sounds like Ray Comfort. Poor bastard. That's exactly how he sounds when he's out on the beach in California witnessing. It's just, it's just kind of sad. I, mean, I feel bad for the man. And the apologetics does make that sound, that kind of, kind of half vomit, kind of a God, whoop you. Okay, there's something in here with me. Perhaps behind the barbed wire. Just, just stay right there. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah? Come on. Oh, shit. I thought I was gonna... Slippery little bugger. Oh, no! At least my hands are warm. I'm dead, but at least my hands are warm. In my inventory, I have a grenade, do I not? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh! Oh, my God. <laughs> Destination, decapitation, you see. That's dark. But impressive, really. What does that knob do? Oh, shit! Hello? Mother. Mother. Literally, mother! Oh, she ain't dead. She's gonna get back up. Yeah. Yeah. You got nothing. Okay, let's take a look here. Who's shooting at me? Because I have a sniper rifle and I will fuck you. Where are you? Up top?
Who's shooting at me? Ah. <laughs> I see you. Oh. All right, where is he? Shit. I need medicine. Oh, oh it's, like, it's like an epinephrine pen. Oh, I think that was the wrong time to use that. That was the wrong time to use that. Yeah, I probably needed that for a boss battle somewhere. Battery pack, large portable storage cell that can be used to get electrical equipment working in an emergency. <coughs> Excuse me. Pick up what? I think there was more than one sniper out there. Don't you? Yep. <laughs> I think I think that answers our question. All right, come on. Take another round. And we'll give me a chance to sight you in here. Anybody? Oh, look.
not sure I understand. I guess back down the way I came. Ideas. There's something to this. What is it? I'm lost. Oh, I see. Maybe I can go over the wall here. Aha! <laughs> Oh, come on! I guess that's about all I got right now. I'll come back and try this again. Crap. Should I give it one more go? Let me check on my lady here. Come on. Just, just, oh, God. Pain in the ass. Or as we would have said when I was in junior high. 
penis in the anus. Okay, let's just, uh, let's just keep ourselves together here. All right, space. Let's snipe this motherfucker to get him out of my hair, because life's too short. Where do you think he is? Maybe right there? Okay, and then we go back down, because we've already, uh... We already gotten our stuff here. I don't want the bottle. Then we go back down to the ladder. No, 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 no. Rad dog needs to go out. Just give me a second, honey. Do not pee on the floor. Please don't pee on the floor. I just need a second. Just need a little second here, kid. All right, what weapon do I want? That's a good stopping place. You know, when you are headless, um, it's it's a little bit hard to see your way around. Let's let's just call it there. Uh, big fun though. And we'll try it again tomorrow.